So good morning all and welcome along and we're out on a test ride today for Eclipse Motorcycles and we're going to be riding this, the Euro 5 Aura 125cc and this one is in grey. Gorgeous looking colour this, I do love this grey colour and just sets the bike off really really well. Now the keys in my pocket is a keyless ignition on this one. Nice and easy to ride, gorgeous seating position, two places to put your feet down the bottom or down to the middle and you've also got that uh, multi, as I call it, multi-function um, multi key slot so you can go into seat and fuel mode, fuel's just down here, seat does flip the opposite direction and you've got that nice LED display to the bike. So, let's get the helmet on. Let's get her off the main stand and let's crank up some miles on this. Uh, setting the mirrors up, I've got literally the tiniest part of my shoulder in both of these mirrors. Mirrors are absolutely gorgeous on this. Really good position for these mirrors. Very, very easy to handle in traffic and with that little bump to the back of the seat, where the rider's seat is, it does seat you very, very nicely. So, first thing to do, let the traffic clear. We're going to get it out and we're going to crank up some miles. And all I need to do on this is just set the clock as well because it is actually 12.30. My half day today, so I had a nice little morning at home. And today we have test rides galore. So the first one we're going to be doing is this Aura 125. So obviously sitting at 40 miles an hour test riding mileage we are going to vary the revs on this slightly between 40 to 45 mile an hour just to ease it up and down as i say don't keep a constant rev pattern on a new bike running it in try and vary your rev range slightly if you are on a manual or a geared bike get through the gearbox as quick as you can you don't want to be pushing those revs too high into the margins. So, in on the front brake, and stops on a sixpence. Combined braking system on this. Now on the display, your miles and your Ks are on the left hand dial. Right hand dial is your rev counter. And a nice big LED display to the centre, or should I say LCD display. But very, very easy to see how fast you're going, what your fuel uh, fuel gauge is saying, how your battery is charging, your time, your temperature and then your odometer down the bottom so now one mile on the bike, only another 13 to wrap up on this one. So we normally put 13 to 15 miles on a bike, cut the test rides and then all good to go to customer. Now a lot of people have asked obviously how quick a bike can be turned around and there is a big debate on what should be done, what should not be done. So I will tell you what we do. Now obviously some dealers do turn around bikes a lot quicker. And uh, for instance you go to your local motorcycle shop and they ask how quick can I get that bike? I've got the money, I've got pound notes, I'm going to wave it in front of your face. How quick can you turn that bike around? Most people will be obviously swayed by the pound notes underneath their nose oh do you one of those how quick do you need it I need it in three to five days oh we can do that so what they're going to do get it in first thing you're going to do is quick bolt check put the battery on it number plates on it L plates and chuck some fuel in the bike and take it out and do a test ride and during the PDI they're going to examine it make sure everything is all good now hopefully it's come out of the factory absolutely perfectly so all it will need is a ride test a quick bolt check at the end register the bike and get it out to the customer that can normally be done pretty darn quick now your bike comes in it gets taken out of the crate and in shipping or in packing the bike into its crate they have either scratched or broken one of the panels or broken off an indicator say let's say they've broken an indicator and cracked a headlight by accident putting it into the container that bike cannot go out like that it's 
broken indicator, broken light, unroadworthy. So, what you're going to do, you're going to get straight on to Lex Moto. Keep an eye on that lorry behind me. You're going to get on to Lex Moto and you're going to say, I need a new indicator, a new light. Yes, certainly, we've got them on the shelf, we'll get one out to you. So, it's going to take you the first day to get that out, or get it ordered, the second day for the parts to be shipped, and the third day for a booking to be made to fit that to the bike. That is already now three days in. Four days if you're including the customer coming in and they're saying we'll get the bike ready from tomorrow. So that's four days. Obviously, if the part is out of stock or they say, sorry, that part is on back order, we're not expecting that to next week, you are going to be slightly scuppered in getting your bike within three to five days unless they've got the part on the shelf and no dealer is going to stock every single part for every single bike in his workshop it's one of those situations that is not going to happen so that is already scuppered you that is the reason why we do a two-week turnaround every booking that we do has a two-day gap between it so for instance your part needs ordering or we've got one sitting in the uh, the stock room put the part on that's your two days another ride test make sure it's all good final qc now that is in just in the first week the second week we do it all over again but should any parts need ordering that is why we take four week uh, two weeks to turn the bike around and that is your simple reason being why a lot of our bikes never come back because they are completely ride tested to the maximum everything's been checked twice two separate mechanics on it normally most bike shops can't afford to put two mechanics on a bike because it is not cost worthy and the amount of prep hours that you do they want to turn a bike around and keep their profit margins to a minimum but that is what we do hence why we did so many bikes last year and we only had one back and the one that did come back was because the uh, the gentleman decided he wanted to have a little tinker with his electrics and then realized he couldn't put all the plugs back in the right sources so as i say if you get stuck and you don't know what you're doing if it's not broke don't mess with it but aura's running lovely four miles on the bike some urban mileage back down the dual carriageway and then back to the garage to test ride our next one but these auras are absolutely lovely and these uh, obviously took over from the Euro 4 bikes last year now one of the biggest bikes last year happened to be the Lexmoto Chieftain obviously the Titan was good the Aplo but the Chieftain was an absolute humdinger of a bike it was bulletproof loved the chieftains absolutely loved them big big maxi scooter and then obviously euro 5's kicked in so it's had uh, the uh, titan euro 5 we've had the aura and we've also got one now called the apollo which has taken over from what the chieftain used to do and then obviously if you want to step up a little bit higher you've got the Pegasus which is the 300cc version that's done by Lexmoto but these Auras are selling like the proverbial hot cake at the moment because a little bit more uh, to the bike obviously being keyless nice lockable fuel cap nice comfortable seat good riding position and a lot of people are using these for Uber and then of course you're going to get the haters where people go oh yes but it's a Chinese bike it's not designed to last forever well I call BS on that if it's looked after and it's maintained then uh, it will last you a lifetime so go and check out the, uh, the guy on the Titan one of my uh, followers actually by the name of Stuart who owns a Blue Titan and has done so many kilometers I think we're at about 42,000 kilometers it's on now and it is still going like a good one because he keeps it maintained he looks after it and he spends a lot of money on it 
but a vehicle is only going to be as good as how much love and effort you put back into your bike if you're just going to straight from the first day you get it rag it around like an absolute lunatic thinking your mark mark is on a moto gp circuit you're not going to service it or you're going to service it yourself using cheap parts and cheap oil and uh, not even bothered to keep it clean no rust preventer on it just leave all the road dirt on it week after week after week yes road dirt and road salt is the biggest killer for any vehicle and you will find that because road dirt accumulates road salt so that is where you're going to get yourself in the proverbial you are in the incorrect lane mr taxi driver look here spotted that out the corner of my eye nod nod so we're going to ramp up some miles i'm going to uh, kick the video into fast forward because we tend to leave the whole ride on video for the uh, customer to watch so we're going to ramp up some more miles speed up into uh, fast forward a bit like a Buster Keaton film and we'll catch up with you when we have done the rest of this ride see you in a few Thank you. 